guys. So this is the Nats Numbers May 2013 numerology forecast. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited because I've already achieved a huge breakthrough from stepping into this month. And so I'm gonna share that in a second. So basically what May is, is it adds down to the master number 11. And 11 is teaching us that this month, from May 1st onward, we have access to a gateway. And this gateway really is a choice that we can make to step into freedom and love, to really access this free-flowing, sort of uh, natural, organic sense of ease and grace and harmony. Now, this is very, very different from last month. Last month, we've talked about in the forecast, was new beginnings. And this was about pushing and pummeling through with our will, our determination, and really seeding our individual desires and dreams. Now, you may have experienced a certain level of stress, feeling that you couldn't rest, you couldn't stop, the world was on your shoulders, things weren't manifesting or, or coming through because you were missing this puzzle piece. So the whole time, May was waiting in queue to up your game and to enhance your manifestation on a whole new level. So basically, the gateway is teaching us this really amazing lesson. It's teaching us that when you have two ones together, it's telling you that you want to develop a relationship with the other one. Now, in April, we developed a relationship with the single one, with our ego, our identity, our personality, our purpose, the compartmentalized version of our individual soul. But now what May is asking you to do is it's asking you to construct and hold hands with the other one, the one that transcends you, that is that is the source of existence, that is the background behind everything that is in the world of form, that is in the formless. In essence, this is developing a relationship with your intuition, your wisdom, with God, with the great spirit, with infinite intelligence, whatever label and image works for you, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about that one which transcends who you are. So April really taught us that if we are only in that single one, if we're only focusing on the belief that we have to do everything and that we have to control and use our monkey mind to evaluate and analyze and conjecture every single little element, we realize that that doesn't necessarily work. That doesn't create that instant manifestation that we were desiring. So the two is now telling us that we need to let go. We need to surrender. We need to undo our grasp and to finally just allow instead of force, to command instead of demand. So how in the world can we do this? All right, so what I have for you, I have three resources that are gonna absolutely leverage the energy of this month, and I am so excited because I, just this morning, started this practice and finally manifested a new house. I cannot believe it, yeah, I can believe it, but it was just the most magical moment. So here's the thing, the first resource for you guys is The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. So if you have a Kindle, you can go ahead and order this right away, you can go to your local bookstore, um, it's pretty much everywhere. And The Magic is a book that is a 28 day gratitude program. So the way that we're gonna let go this month is by allowing ourselves to focus on gratitude, to focus on appreciating what is so that we can no longer be standing in our own way of manifestation. Because guess what, you guys? The two month, the 11 master number month of May is really amplifying the essence of the law of attraction. Now, other months you could do this program and get great results, but this month it is going to take the results of gratitude and shoot them through the roof. It is going to be absolutely amazing. So this is a 28 day program and basically, she has a exercise for each day. So if you really feel like you want structure, you want something to be held accountable to, this is a great resource for you. I'm gonna be doing this. I started day one already and manifested a house. So I can't imagine what you guys are gonna be able to do with this as well, okay? So if you like structure, go for that. The second resource is the website, thegratitudejar.com, and I'll put a link below so you can click on it. This is actually a website founded by an amazing client of mine. And basically what it is, is I want you to make this website your homepage for the month of May. So anytime you get up in the morning, you check your email, I want you to first go to this website and basically enter in your gratitude for the day, okay? So the beautiful thing about this website is that 
If you are blocked on what you're appreciative of, you can go and look at other people's entries from all around the world to give you ideas and to tap into that source of the law of attraction and to tap into gratitude. The other really beautiful thing is that when you press submit, other people see it, they read it, and they're affirming it for you, okay? So thousands and thousands of people are reading your gratitude elements and are energizing it for you free of charge. It is absolutely amazing, all right? So go ahead and do that. Lastly, I have one um, really cool exercise that's come in handy for me. So if you feel like you're really overwhelmed about having to do a task, having to sit down and think about what you're grateful for and it feels inauthentic to you, there's this exercise that is the gratitude theme exercise. And basically what it is, you wake up in the morning and pick a theme for the day. So the theme might be green, it might be romance, it might be money, it might be water. Whatever it is, you pick that theme, and what happens is your RAS, and I have a book here so I don't butcher the, the name, um, your RAS is the reticular activating system, and it is a group of cells at the base of your brain that basically weed through the millions and billions of bits of information that are coming into your awareness and only focus on the things that matter to you and that you are intending to see. So through your RAS, you're going to be able to naturally, magically notice the theme of gratitude for that day and feel that feel feeling in your heart of complete appreciation for this beautiful thing showing up in your life. So if you choose water as the theme for today, you can Im imply that in the beginning when you wake up and you're going to be grateful when you're brushing your teeth, when you're drinking a glass of water, when you're having a cup of soup, when you're taking a bath, the list goes on and on. So it's really beneficial for those of us who just want to have a free flowing gratitude practice that also feels a little bit magical. So the reason why this is so important you guys is because when we take our monkey mind out of the equation, when we continue to do the action steps and we continue to use our will to move forward, but then we let go after we take action then that's when true manifestation occurs. And so the 11 month of May is teaching you that when you use your singular will, along with surrendering to the divine, surrendering to your wisdom, surrendering with gratitude to the relationship with the other one, right, the benevolent one that is beyond you, that is when you can step through the gateway to amazing, amazing manifestation and to finally begin to see the demonstrations of your power. So please comment, rate the video, let me know how you guys are doing throughout the month and I'm gonna be posting videos that are all about the theme of the 11 to give you guys some more fuel as you move forward. I'll talk with you guys later, bye.